Welcome back. In this lecture, we will explore additional swiper.js modules and plugins that can enhance the functionality and capabilities of your slider. Swiper.js offers a wide range of modules and plugins, allowing you to extend its features and customize it to meet your specific requirements. Let's take a look at some of the popular and useful swiper.js modules and plugins. On my screen, you can see on their documentation, they have a lot of modules that you can use. So under the module section, we have several like navigation, pagination, scroll, autoplay, etc. We will talk about a few of them. The first one that I will talk about is the zoom module. The zoom module allows you to add pinch to zoom functionality to your slider, enabling users to zoom in and out of the sliders this can particularly useful for image galleries or product showcases you can also zoom it by if you are on computer you can double click on the image and that would be zoomed next one is scroll bar module the scroll bar module adds a scroll bar to your slider providing an alternative navigation method for users this can be helpful when you have a large number of slides or when you slide when the slider is used in a constrained space. After that, we have parallax module. The parallax module enables you to create stunning parallax effects within your slides. You can apply parallax effects to images or any other elements, creating a sense of depth and movements as, uh, as the user navigates through the slides. By the way, if you want to test all of these effects or modules you can open their demo resources and here you will find all of the possible demos and and test them out and use the code from those demos if needed so for example we want to test uh, we want to see the demo for the zoom so you can find the zoom demo here and test it so this is for the zoom you can see if i double click on that it will zoom it zoom in and zoom out okay you can if you want to download the code get the code or see the code you can click on the core or if you are using react js you can click on that and view and element so you if you click on them it will open the code in the code sandbox next we talked about the scroll bar so this is the example of the scroll bar uh, so this is the example of the scroll bar so if you move to the next slide you will see the scroll bar on the bottom that will move to the right and it will keep moving with every next slide okay after that we have the parallax module so this is how it will work if you click on that it will go to the next slide but it will move the content to the left so for example you are on the first one and if you go to the next slide the image would be moved a little bit but the text or content would be go to the left side okay and after that we will talk about the history module so this is the example of history module the history module allows you to integrate your slider with the browser's history api enabling users to navigate through the slides using the browser back and forward button so for example i click on the next button you will notice that uh, some data has been appended in the URL to keep track of the current slide. If you go to the next one, then the URL will be updated again. And if you click on the back button, then it will go back to the previous slide instead of changing the actual page. And also the good thing is that these slides are now shareable because of this uh, history mode. Next one is virtual slides module. The virtual slides module is designed to improve the performance when dealing with a large number of slides. It dynamically renders only the visible slides and few surrounding slides, reducing the initial load time and memory usage. So for example, right now it is showing that we have 600 slides and you can go. It will not load all of the slides at the same time because if it load all of the slides at the same time, or if we render all of the slides at the same time, then the UI will be slow. So to improve the performance, it will render them dynamically. To use a module or plugin in your swiper.js project, you need to enable it in your swiper.js configuration. So this is the example how you will do it. First of all, here, let me remove all of these other options. 
and instead of that i will add zoom and here i will specify max ratio 5 and minimum ratio to 1 okay save it so you can also find the ex uh, documentation for the zoom behavior search for the zoom and here it is so right now i did not add the toggle property if you set it true so we have added the options for the zoom but we still have to make some change in the html as we can see here in every slide we have to wrap our image tag inside the swiper zoom container so let's do that okay so i will select all of the image tags and before them i will put this div and here i will close my div okay save it let me reformat the html uh let me remove these closing tags so let's remove them all together save it okay i have reformatted the structure now this is what we have currently now if you open it and double click on that you will see that it will zoom in and zoom out by double clicking on that but if you want to disable the click behavior you can just go back here and set the toggle to false and save it now it will not zoom in okay in this example we enable the zoom module in the swiper.js configuration by adding the zoom option and specifying the desired settings such as maximum and minimum zoom ratios you can find detailed documentation for each module on this link